So we're we're better prepared, you know, no question. You know, how do you prepare your guys to go down to Florida? You don't. You know, you don't. You just tell them, hey, it's going to be rough. It's going to be last time I checked, football feels the exact same. It's going to be loud. You know what I mean? Crank up the music and indoor and let's roll. Neil, does it feel pretty good to be 2 and 17 point win and, and still be a little nitpicky over the performance? Oh, sure. That's what I, I was telling these guys earlier. I mean, if you told me we were going to win by 17, I'd take it. Because I was worried about this group. Got a lot of respect for them. They play really good defense year in and year out. Go back and look at them since 2005. They play really, really good defense. So for us to come in and get off to the start we, we did, I, I was pleased. No question. If you told me we'd win by 17 on Monday, I'd, I'd have been fine. How frustrating is it, you know, knowing you two that you hang 14 quick and then yeah. you have a couple stall and a couple missed field goals thrown in there and I think one, you know, well, the, inside the five. Is yeah, well. the the we had first and goal in the two. That that was on me. That was really a, a series of bad calls. So that that's my fault. And then we just we we shot ourselves in the foot so many times today. And it was really just one negative play. You know, I was pleased. I mean, we got a bunch of third downs. Um, we played it good with good tempo at times. I thought, you know, toward the end of the game we started watering the clock down, but. You know, I thought we did some good things, but I was disappointed in the negative plays that kind of ended drives for us. What did the, the players say? They said, like, after the first two drives, it was so easy that they may have lost focus a little bit. Nah, did, you, did you see that at all? Yeah, they better not tell me that. <laughs> all right. That's why I didn't say the name of the player. Yeah, don't tell them. They better not tell me. <laughs> last Probably one of these 17-year-olds were playing. <laughs> Timmons last week had a big block. Today, Dorian Baker hit guys. you feel like this wide receiver group is – Physical, is that something you We challenged them. We had two, fo two uh, three things we focused on this week, playing with discipline, which we had a low number of penalties. Can't tell you totally until I watched the uh, – obviously Timmons broke discipline on that one penalty. But um, but we, we only had two offense penalties. We held on to the ball. So that part, you know, as far as us playing with pad level and all that stuff that goes with discipline, we'll see. Wanted to play a better tempo we did, and we wanted to play physical. And, and I thought our wideouts did that. You know, you can't really tell till you watch the video, but I really thought they, 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 had, a, they had a presence out there and, and blocked extremely well in the perimeter. Patrick rushing for over 20 times. What does that say to you? I mean, is that within the game plan? Are you no, fine with that? No, a lot. No, I would say less. I would say seven to ten of them were called runs. Some of them he just went. Some of them were good decisions to scramble. Some of them were not so good decisions. But, but that's that's kind of the way it goes.